So now I'm joined with internet legend, landlord extraordinaire, Adam Brooks. Adam, I've seen you walking around, lip on the floor, yeah. not looking happy. What's it all about? I've got the ump, there. You've got the ump? Yeah, What's it about? I've, I've got to show you. We've got to fight Sadiq Khan and we've got to stop the Ulez expansion. Comes real close to here and it's uh, impacting a lot of businesses, a lot of residents, a lot of hard-working people that travel into London as their job and they're being taxed for no reason. But surely, Adam, if ULES comes in, it will make the atmosphere better, cleaner, the air greener, and lots of people will stop getting asthma and we'll all be healthier. TFL might want to tell you that and yeah. Sadiq Khan might want to tell you that, but the science just is not adding up. You know, they're manipulating the data um, right. and it's going to make no difference at all by expanding this far. I mean, I'm against ULEZ anyway, but especially this expansion. Well, tell, tell me this, Adam. If, um, if for some magical reason, central government said to, to Khan, look, yes, we agree with you, mm. uh, it's a good idea, but every single penny you get from ULEZ goes to central government as opposed to going to you in London. Do you think Mayor Khan would still go for it? It is about the money. I mean, if they really cared about air quality, they would sort out the, the toxic fumes on the London Underground, yeah. which can be up to 13 or 14 times yeah. higher than a busy main road. And some of the toxic fumes going out the mayor's office as well, because this is quite 100%. toxic. 100%. I just wish, you know, the, the, the Conservatives had a candidate that could really run in close in the mayor elections. Well, we'll see. It's, it's not over to the fat lady sing. So, if you was mayor for a day yeah. in London, mm. what would you do? I would stop the Ulez. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Stop I, it I would stop. actually stop it in central London as well. I, I don't think... But you've got to give an argument, Adam. How does it impact on businesses and, and, well, and, and local especially people? Especially the, the expansion around here. What people have got to realise is that people that can't change their car or their van to become compliant have now got to pay £12.50 to go into London. Yeah. Now, that means that their businesses have got extra costs. Yeah. That means that their prices have to go up. You know, they might have to let people go from their businesses or they might not earn any money. It's severely going to affect the working man um, and the working woman of the surrounding areas. It, it's bad news. Yeah. So I understand you've been campaigning recently yeah. on this issue. Give me an update. Well, look, I, I'm, as, as I say, I'm part of the Together Declaration. So yeah. the Together, Together Declaration are trying to bring all the campaign groups together yeah. so we can fight this. And I, I, yeah. there's going to be a presence outside the Judicial Review next Tuesday. It's interesting. I mean, we speak to people in London all the time. I speak to a lot of cabbie drivers. Obviously, it doesn't affect cabbie drivers because I think they're exempt. But it affects their friends, their families, other businesses in the local area, you know, people just popping into London. It's really going to have a massive impact on their income. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's another tax, a green tax. It's a know. fresh air tax. It's a fresh air tax. It's a tax on fresh air. And, and you know, the, the, the TfL and, and Sadiq Khan's office tell us that nine in ten cars uh, and vehicles are compliant. The uh, RAC, RAC yeah. disagree with that, yeah, yeah. and that there could be 850,000 cars yeah. that are not compliant. So that's a lot of people that are going to be taxed. And do you think, genuinely, if it comes in, mm. it will um, increase the, um, the health and well-being of the people of London? I don't think it'll make a single bit of difference. Wow. There you go, that's Adam Brooks. A bit of common sense there with, with Adam. He knows what he's talking about, campaigning. Uh, fully expect him to see him laying a road somewhere in London with, with long hair and, and orange paint draped all over him, causing a nuisance on Whitehall. Is that going to be the case, Adam? No, no. Why not? Direct action? Does it work? Direct action, no. No, I don't like to, um, I don't like to stop people working. I don't like to inconvenience people. Yes. We protest the right way, legally, 